you are responsible for your life. I've known this. I, I've known this since the color purple. In 1985, I've probably told you the story when I did the color purple, but in 1985, I did the color purple. Prior to that, I had read the book, Larry. Now, this is, a, this is when I got the secret thing, but I didn't know it was called the secret. I read the book, The Color Purple, and then went out and got books for everybody else I knew. And I was obsessed about this story, obsessed about it. I ate, slept, thought all the time about The Color Purple. I moved to Chicago. I get a call from a casting agent asking, would I like to come and audition for a movie? I've never gotten a call in my life from anybody for a movie or anything like that. And I say, is it The Color Purple? And he says, no, it's a movie called Moonsong. And I go, well, I've been praying for The Color Purple. And I go to the audition, and of course it was The Color Purple. I audition. I don't hear anything for months. And I go to this, this fat farm, and I think it's because I'm fat, because I was about 212 pounds at the time. And I think, I didn't get the call back because I'm so fat. And I'm at this fat farm, and I'm praying and crying, saying to God, help me let this go, because I wanted to be in this movie so much. I wanted it, I wanted it, I wanted it. I thought I was going to be in the movie. There's all these signs that I should be in the movie. And I go to this fat farm, and I'm praying and crying. And as I'm on the track singing this song, I surrender all, I surrender all, all to thee, my Blessed Savior, I surrender all. I'm singing that song, praying and crying. A woman comes out to me, and she says, on the track, it's raining, and she says, there's a phone call for you. And the phone call was Steven Spielberg saying, I want to see you in my office in California tomorrow. Now, what I learned from that, it, that moment absolutely changed my life forever, because I had drawn the color purple into my life. I didn't know Steven Spielberg. I didn't know Quincy Jones, who saw me in Chicago in 1984. He was, he was there for a lawsuit that was being filed against Michael Jackson because he'd been working on his, his thriller album. And he saw me on AM Chicago and said, that's Sophia. Now, I didn't know him. I didn't know anybody that had anything to do with that. But I knew that I had drawn that into my life, and it changed the way I thought about my life forever. So you're not surprised at the success of The Secret? I am. I'm thrilled for the, the success of The Secret. I think that uh, the message needs to go further because I think the mistake that was made with The Secret is that they tried to, uh, they, don't know who they are, that they tried to let that be the answer to all questions. It's not the, it's just one law. The law of attraction is one law. There are many laws working in the world. But it is very true that the way you think creates reality for yourself. There are other factors going on. So it's not everything, but you really can change your own reality based on the way that you think.